Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. Well today we're going to be having some some uh, baked salmon. I try to pick out really good salmon that you know, has a, a good date on it, a fresh date. So I never tried to do anything like this before even when I was making making um, eating videos like a long time ago. So I just now took this out of the oven and I won't waste time talking as much. I'll get down to it. There is one thing if you have the if you leave the skin on it like I do, then it makes it a little bit tougher to a little bit tougher to cut. And I would not throw the skin away. It's probably the healthiest part. I have some uh, some pickle relish here too, sweet relish, available at your local store. Let's try it without any pickles on it right now. Mmm. Delicious. Now I'm going to try the skin. Uh, that's how it looks up close. That could be a thumbnail. <laughs> it is really, really delicious and I also added onions to it Need to cut my eyelashes, it looks like. So I cook it at about 400 degrees in a little teeny, a little teeny glass container, a glass pan, about 400 degrees. That'd be like 45 minutes. Oh, these are so good. Just even the onions are so good. Yeah, doggies, Uncle Jed. I think I could eat the onions just by themselves. I think maybe I'll fix a dish like that in the future, just with the onions. This fish is good without even putting it into the, putting any of the little uh, sweet relish with it. I make sure the fish is thoroughly, thoroughly thawed to start with. If you want it to be a little bit crispier and darker, you can cook it more like 45 minutes to an hour. And I cook it with the skin on the top. Because if you cook it with the skin on the bottom, it'll be more likely to kind of stick to the, to the, um, frying pan. It's not a frying pan. The, the glass, uh, what do you call it? Container. We put the skin at the top.
the only downside I can think to that that I can think about for that is that when you put the sauces on it's going to you're going to put it on top of the skin so you can turn it over if you want to but that makes the the cooking pan a little bit dirtier and I put lemon juice in there first of all before I even started cooking and then I'll put it some more lemon juice in just before I put the the uh, spices on like paprika Old Bay seasoning just a pinch of garlic salt and pepper I'm a pepper you're a pepper remember the soft drink commercial Dr. Pepper it was the 80s It was this guy in his kind of 30s, had black hair, and he was dancing around with all these people, uh, singing, I'm a pepper and you're a pepper. Mm. The sweet relish is good by itself. I guess after you put the onions, maybe let them cook for like maybe five or six minutes and then just turn the stove off and let it sit there about five more minutes heating up. And those onions, those onions will be real good. Do I have like a little thing right there on my, on my nose? Someone said it looked kind of red. So it might be some kind of a, well, I need to go have it checked. And I have my, my normally scheduled appointment this week with the dermatologist. Hmm. hope you'll give this a try it's really great with sweet potatoes and 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 rice well it's good for just about everything so wishing you the best i'll check you later bye bye